J.R.R. Tolkien said in one of his books, not all those who wander are lost. Not all that glitters is gold. I'm going to prove that when we come back. Don't go away. Hello everybody, it's Paul from Fat Guy Productions coming to you as always from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. And indeed, I happen to have a project I did and the decisions I made seemed to be clearly wrong and it impacted not just my inner being, but I just, you know, my ment mental capacity, everything just was askew by this. And I didn't really understand what was going on until, uh, you know, just one day it just kind of clicked. And I figured out I did this restoration of a Tootsie fire truck. And I was so disappointed in it, but I didn't realize that was the problem. Well, once I did realize it and dropped it back into some stripper, all became right. Let's see what I did. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and zip through the first pass uh, that I did with this uh, Tootsie Toy fire engine. Um, you know, I'm going to do all the standard stuff, so I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to actually talk about my mentality as I'm doing this project and, and why it didn't come out to my satisfaction. You see, after I got this thing stripped, I was able to see just how bad the body was. And uh, it was very typical of a Tootsie Toy from that era in that it was cast very, very poorly. A lot of pits and dings. There were some places where obviously they had done a little bit of repair at the factory, um, but it was really cast very, very poorly. But I was kind of gun shy from the Tootsie Toy tanker that I did in that I was worried that too much sanding and filling and all of those other things would obliterate the very, very fine detail that was still clinging to this model. And I really didn't want that to happen, so I made a conscious decision not to do any body work to it. I just kind of hit it with the wire brush, painted it, and moved forward. So this would be normally where I end my video with this uh, rotisserie shot. Then I would say goodbye and I'd do a glamour shot, but not today. I hate everything about this. I, I feel like I made the wrong decision in not paying at least some attention to the uh, irregularities of the body. And I feel like that... Um, that decision impacted everything I did here. I, I don't like the way the paint came out, and I hate the way I painted the silver at the bottom. I, I like the idea, but I think I did a crap job of it. So at the end of the day, I just could not tolerate this. And so back into the soup it goes. Yeah, so in the end, I think what what it was, is it, it started from the very minute I decided not to do any treatment to the body whatsoever. And uh, it just got worse and worse as I went, and I just couldn't live with that. So I made myself a new cardboard base, I stripped the paint off, and here I'm going to do some sanding. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to lightly sand with 1,000 grit sandpaper the entire casting. But I'll be more aggressive in some of the worst spots, but I will not lay any sandpaper to any of the, the in, embedded uh, body lines that are here. Because they're already so fragile that any sanding is going to damage them, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to try and get this thing equal and somewhat smooth. I will take a little bit of a file to uh, the upper left corner uh, light on the, the top of the cab there because it's so bad and so messy. And then I'll follow that up with a little sandpaper. But basically the whole thing is going to get a little bit of a, a polishing up, a little bit of a brass bristle brush and some polish. And we're going to try and make this body a little bit better. And then we're going to go back and we're going to paint it again. Yeah. <laughs> 
And here you can see the, that light on the top of the cab, the one to the right of the screen, and how messy it is. I'm, I'm going to hit that with a little bit of a file right there, just to kind of smooth it down a little bit. Uh, but you see the front is going to still be rough. I'll, I'll lightly smooth as best I can, but, you know, this thing's never going to be perfect. If I made it perfect, I'd lose all the details in it, and I don't want that to happen. So this is about as good as it's going to end up getting. Now I've got it back down on the cardboard, and we're ready to go to the paint booth. And truth be told, this is going to be its third trip to the paint booth, because uh, the one right before this... Uh, I was putting it back on. This would be the second paint job, and uh, I got a run. I got too carried away right at the end there, and I got a run, and I couldn't handle that. So I stripped it back off again, and here we are. Finally, we're going to put it back down, and uh, we'll start with a little bit of uh, Tamiya Fine Primer. That's going to help uh, smooth the body out even a little bit more, uh, but it also won't really take away any of the body lines. So we're just going to hit it all up. With that to me a fine primer let that dry and then we're going to be using createx blood red to go ahead and give this that nice deep red paint i really am a, a pretty big fan of the createx stuff uh as well as my uh, my bright vision paint in that createx is very saturated and you have uh, a lot of options in one paint. Here I am putting it over a primer, and I'm going to get one look, uh, as opposed to if I put it over a metallic finish or just a uh, polished body finish. Uh, whether I put it on light or heavy, I will change the, the coloration of what I'm doing. So I have so many options with this paint. Um, I just really enjoy working with it. Um, I think I've done a, a ton of stuff in blood red. Uh, I guess that's proving to be one of my favorite colors. And so uh, here I am. I'm just laying down the tack coat. And then we will do the medium coats. And on this third pass around, you can bet your bippy I'm going to be very, very careful with the wet coat. Now, another thing that I've also decided to do that I didn't do before is after this wet coat dries, I am going to put a little bit of the Bright Vision Clear Coat on this. And mainly that's for my own protection to hopefully not have to do this fourth time. Um, if I put Clear Coat on here, when I turn to putting the, uh, uh, the silver paint down, if I have an issue there that I don't like, it's going to be a lot easier for me to get it off and make sure that the paint underneath still looks fantastic. So we're going to do a little clear coat too. Okay, so uh, the paint is done. We'll put it on the, the lamp to, to cure. And then when it's done doing that, we can go ahead and break out our Tamiya Chrome Silver and we can hit the bumper and the running boards and call this one a day and uh, I think you're gonna agree that it's a way better than the first version so this is a shot of the fire truck the first time through um, it just it just doesn't look good to me and uh, I, I just couldn't abide calling it done this way so this is uh, the first version, and now let's take a look at the second version. And here it is, the second and final version of my Tootsie Toy Fire Truck. I think it looks massively, massively better. Um, there's still a, a lot of artifact in the body that you can see uh, right up through the paint. But overall, I think it's, it's much smoother looking. It's very glossy. I don't have any runs in it. I think the work on the uh, the tailboards and stuff is is much better done. And overall, uh, I'm happy with this one. Whereas before, I just couldn't stand it.
All right, there it is, my Tootsie Toy fire engine. And I got to tell you, from where it was to a point that I was embarrassed to show this to you, and then finally coming to the realization of what was going on and fixing it, um, come a long way. And I, I now actually really, really love the look of this thing. I think it looks amazing. And uh, I hope you did too. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, click the little bell, and you'll be notified anytime I put out a new video. If you have any questions or comments, ask them and right down below there, and I'll, I'll talk with you guys. I love it. I enjoy the little combos we have. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get out of here today. So this is Paul from Fat Guy Productions wishing you an amazing day when clarity helps free you from the things that are bothering you. Until next time, be good.